Uh, Nathan, I'll, first I want to ask you, it's kind of a silly question, but you're all city and cross country. Is there any carryover effect from cross country to basketball? I mean, definitely you're in good shape, but is there any carryover effect, you think? Um, I don't know. Basically, it's basically just uh, staying in shape, and it helps me run up and down the court. But, like, shooting-wise and all that, I kind of have to do that on my own. Okay. During cross country, would you get done and then go shoot and stuff like that? Every once in a while, yes, because you got to keep in touch with the ball. Um, but, like, on Fridays for meets, I went and I just rest. Okay. What uh, what do you attribute to you? Did you work a lot this summer? Uh, yeah, I, I played club basketball with uh, John Malloy and did some games just to keep it in touch and stuff and kept practicing. Are you surprised by your start? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I didn't expect to score this much, but I kind of just let the game come to me. And if I get enough, if I score that many, then good. But if I don't, then that's all right, too. Last year's sub-state, you know, you hadn't played much varsity all year and all of a sudden you come in and hit four threes in the sub-state final. How much did that motivate you to keep working hard and say, hey, I can really do this and, you know, and get ready for your senior year? Oh, it really motivated me. Um, after I, th I knew staying ready, waiting for my turn, and then got the four threes, and that made me more confident and ready to start next year. Okay. How about this? Uh, how about this team? Is it, is it a team that works pretty well together and gets along pretty good? And, and obviously, you're enjoying the start. Oh yeah, we get along real well, and we have great chemistry, and we're having a lot of fun.